going on, Five Shot Fam? AJ here with you with another transfer daily video. Now, there's a couple things I want to get to in this one, but before that, I want to say hopefully that there are some more rumors of incoming players and signings. But alas, I think this is where we are at the moment. There's a lot of outward going players. So, first up, Brandon Vasquez has been selected in the 2019 MLS expansion draft. He was selected by Nashville SC. Our maybe future rival, possibly, but uh, yes, then he was promptly traded to FC Cincinnati for $200,000 in allocation money. And that amount of allocation money is a pretty good sum for a 20, 21 year old Ford who has shown some good promise with us. He's been with us since the 2017 inaugural season. He was used a good bit by Tata Martino off of the bench. And then in 2019, he was a pretty vital cog for us in the earlier rounds of the U.S. Open Cup. And he's been a good option for us off of the pine for us as a different look. Now, what do FC Cincinnati get? They get a young, promising striker who probably will see a lot more starting minutes and hopefully will develop his career and really... I think make something for himself in MLS. So thank you, Brandon Vasquez, and thank you for your service to Atlanta United. Now, the next bit of recent news is that left back Mikey Ambrose said his goodbyes to Atlanta and Atlanta United on a recent IG and Twitter post, pretty much saying it was bittersweet, but that he was pretty much having to move on. Now, it seems like he wasn't tendered a contract by Atlanta United, which... I think is a little bit perplexing we all were thinking maybe was he already being selected in the expansion draft and pretty much saying his goodbyes or was it something else and so in terms of that it is now clear that he wasn't chosen and he probably simply was not tendered a contract so with that we are now lacking in the left back department and forward department which I think is not really a huge surprise as Frank DeBoer is probably going to have a lot more say in who he fills out the roster with now. And so this is kind of just a casualty of what it's going to be this offseason. A lot of outgoing players, especially in the forward department where we don't know if Tito Vijalba and very unlikely that he will continue to be a five stripe. And so we literally have zero strikers with MLS experience behind Joseph on the roster. So lots of rumors and lots of players that we will be linked with, I'm sure, going forward. And so it will be interesting days ahead for Atlanta United. So stay tuned on all of this with us and we will keep you abreast of all of the news that comes out. But this video has been sponsored by our friends at Burro Burro Sushi. They make some awesomely delicious sushi burritos, poke bowls, and ramen. Support us by supporting them. But guys, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.